Hey guys, today I'm going to be going through what I believe are the 10 most important intermediate or advanced F2L cases to learn. These are some of the cases that aren't necessarily intuitive the first time you see them, and can be helpful tricks to solve different cases from certain bad angles or to do edge orientation. Anyway, let's get right into it. first two cases are actually inverses of each other. Here's what the first one looks like. And this one can be really tricky otherwise because you have to take it out, break it up, and insert it using a rotation. But if you use this algorithm, you can solve it much quicker and you can even manipulate edge orientation. If you only have one edge oriented at the beginning, put it in the back and then by the end you'll have all the edges oriented. So the algorithm for this case looks like this. And quickly, this next case is the inverse of the previous one, and in order to manipulate EO, you put your one oriented edge on the left. Here's what the algorithm looks like slowly. And quickly, this next case is a way to insert a pair like this in the back here without having to rotate. So with the empty slot back here and the solved pair right here, the algorithm looks like this. And quickly. The algorithm for this case is very similar to the last one and is used to solve this case when it's in the back right over top of the empty slot. So here's what that looks like. And quickly. This case can be very difficult without a specific algorithm for it, because solving it intuitively you have to break it up and then rotate it to insert. However, here's what a much faster algorithm looks like. And quickly. This algorithm is very similar to the last one and is used to solve this case from this angle. Once again, normally you would have to break it up and rotate to insert but here is a much better way to solve it. And faster. So this case is just my favorite way to insert an edge when it's the last pair. So here's what that looks like. And quickly. Now these next three cases are all helpful cases on their own, but actually have quite a bit of multi-slotting potential as well. As you can see here, there are two pairs out, and all I'm solving right now is the red and blue pair. So when you have the edge stuck back here in this slot, and these two colors are adjacent, you can solve it like this. Now, if you happen to have this pair solved here, it works out really nicely. Otherwise, it's just a good algorithm on its own. Here's what that looks like at a faster speed. And this is the inverse of the previous algorithm, which is used to take this pair out of here and insert it back here much quicker than doing it like this. Plus, it'll not only preserve this pair if you have one right here, but it'll insert it for you. So here's what that algorithm looks like slowly. And quickly. Now this one isn't that hard to figure out, but I figured I'd include it in here because I do use it a lot, especially when multi-slotting. Here the blue and red pair is broken up, and so we can take it out like this, and then insert it. But we can actually save a few moves just by not bringing this back down. So here's what the actual algorithm looks like. And of course, it also solves the pair back here. So those are the 10 most important F2L cases to learn, in my opinion. I really do think that learning all of those will help your solving, but also learning how to manipulate them and use them in cases unlike the ones that I showed here can help you get even faster. So that's it for this video on the F2L cases that I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!